I love you. I and would like to answer the question. And that is the also. And why is why is the religious angle being given in the first place? This is what Rahman Khan says. Rahman Khan says, with such a large population, have you ever found a single Indian Muslim going and supporting terrorists in Kashmir? This is the kind of irresponsible comment the Minorities Affairs Minister is saying, where a minister sworn to the Indian Constitution is giving a Hindu Muslim religious angle to terrorism. I don't understand today why you cannot throw your political affiliations, biases and prejudices aside, Mr. Abid Rasul Khan, Mr. Rajiv Tyagi, and uh, with, with the greatest of respect to Mr. Aslam Goni as well. And why you can't say it is time to address terror as, a, you know, as an Indian? There's no soul searching Anna, involved that you need Anna, to do that. Smriti Rani points. is coming back to the debate. Yes, Smriti. Me? Yes, Smriti. Now, this one thing that I wanted to bring to the table, Arnab, in this conversation, the fact that everybody, uh, you know, there are some people with registered political interests who wave the victimization flag. They need to understand that though the Simi was banned in 2001 after the 9-11 attacks, the Simi was actually formed as a student wing of the Jamaat-e Islami Hind in 1977. The Jamaat-e Islami itself was formed in 1929. Now, the Formation of these organizations was purely on the basis that they are against the Indian state. They have absolutely no value given to the Indian constitution. That an organization like the SIMI has had relationships and working relationships with organizations like the LET, the HUJI, funded by the ISI. Hence, I implore on your channel tonight that though we as political organizations in the forthcoming elections will debate out issues of development, policy paralysis, bad governance, do not harm I internal think, security I think issues. Rani should be reminded with regards to India Spruti, for settling political scores or for playing up to vote bank politics. Spruti That's Rani. my only request on this channel tonight. Sruti Rani, you should be reminded that Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh did not celebrate Independence Day. 15th August for something like 30 years. It did not believe that Indian independence is there. It did not believe that this constitution is respectable because they did not believe in partition. I totally RSS, deny what you are saying, sir. This is sir. not. This is First, not some kind of. I am not a representative is, of the RSS. I am a representative of the BJP. This is not my information. I totally reject NIR, what you are saying, saying with regards to this the is RSS. Not but I am also not saying this is Mr. a fact Kitkar, recorded in history. I also history. find it interesting. This is a fact recorded Kitkar, in history of. I also RSS, find it interesting everybody knows it, that in the RSS, absence RSS, you of have Congress representatives putting RSS up a defense on this platform, no, 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 Mr. Subramanian Swami is going to come in one second. One second. But before Subramanian Swami comes in, I would like to say one thing. We want to stay to the course of this debate. And this debate is about the irresponsible comments exactly. of Rahman Khan. And even Shakil Ahmed, even right. Shakil Ahmed who triggered a controversy with his comments about the formation yeah. of the Indian Mujahideen and its link to the Gujarat riots has himself acknowledged the, the group's existence. Rahman Khan says India's Muslims believe the organization does not exist. Who is he to speak for Indian Muslims? And why is the Congress party and the gov leadership and the government allowing him to speak no, for Indian Muslims? He has, and he has any authority to speak on behalf of Muslims or not, that is different. Who is contradicting how can, him? How can a minister who has taken oath of the uh, constitution can communalize this issue? The question is, basic question is that, I think here as at the panel, we should ask Rahman Khan to withdraw his statement and, immediately and, and, why is and he saying, apologize, apologize the nation for such irresponsible no, no, why is, why is he? If Subramanian Swami can say, Beyond, Swami is beyond constitution, sub, just because it was some time ago, that doesn't mean it is justified. What's it? Can Subramaniam Swami speak for himself? <laughs> the question is put for him. Mr. Swami, it's time for you to respond. <laughs> well, I'm, well, if I, Mr. Ketkar, you see, he's got a phobia about RSS. 
and he'll say any any and the lies. I have never said the Muslims should be deprived of their voting rights. I only said that every should Indian should acknowledge that he belongs to this. Uh, please now, you have spoken. You are you are well known for uh, embroidering the truth, if not actually telling falsehood when it comes to RSS and anything which is pro Hindu. <coughs> The question is, I had said only this much, that all Indians belong to this country because the DNA studies show we are of the same, uh, same blood uh, genetic structure. And therefore, Muslims should also acknowledge that their ancestors are from this country. And if they are not, don't acknowledge. No, I think I then of no, no, I don't. don't I think by throwing such a challenge. No, no. One second. 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 I, I want to say this to Subramaniam Swami with great respect, sir. You are a very senior politician and a very erudite person and a man of great political and academic eminence. But may I request you, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, that at this stage of uh, you know, uh, of our country's uh, existence and never in the past or in the future should we ask anyone from any community just because they are from a community or okay. that community to have to prove, you know, their Indianness. And I don't think the Muslim community in I'm India needs to have to, to prove, prove their Indianness. I'm asking all Indians. No, well... I'm not asking him to prove any one community Well, I, just as I I'm say... I'm asking all Indians just, to declare that their ancestors are Hindus. Well, well, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think you need to make provocative comments like that, Mr. Subramaniam please, Swami. Please, How please, can we declare please, our language? That's not provocative. That is what genetic well, I don't say. Think. Can we declare our language? That's what DNA says. What is the nonsense? No, no, Mr. Subramaniam Swami, you see, it is, it is, it was, Mr. Subramaniam Swami, this is, this is the competitive politics. How can talk about my ancestors being Hindu? This is the competitive politics. We are diverting the issue like anything. That is not the issue for which I'm no, no, I think, I think. Can we, can we doubt the loyalty of each and every Muslim of this country? Can we doubt that? Absolutely not. We can't not. doubt that. And we, we, we can't doubt that. And second thing, second thing, can we take, take the guarantee of each and every Hindu that he is, he or she is loyal to the country itself? There are several instances in the history. That what Ambi has done to the nation, what Jachan has done to the nation. And there are several, several instances when we have seen that Hindus were doing spying against the country. So it's the country of Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai. We all are together. We all together can work, work for the building of this nation. So, so my point is that BJP always criminalize the issue and it's a bad thing for the nation. It's a growing nation and we must all work together to build this nation in a nice free. Well, I think we need to acknowledge one thing. By that day, this. People, the, may I say and, and one thing? One, one thing I would like to tell. Uh, one thing I would like to tell to Smriti Rani that uh, uh, there is a Sanskrit couplet that Dharmen Hina Pashubi Samana, which means if we don't believe in religion, we are just like animals. And religion teaches us tolerance. Religion teaches us harmony, and we are for the harmony. Congress is for the harmony. Congress is well, for the Well, you know Hindus. that's all right. Congress but that's all right. Tell that to Rahman Khan. Tell that to Rahman Khan. May, 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 no, no, Mr. Anab Goswami. Mr. Rahman, Mr. Rahman Khan has said only one thing. That, that he has said, he has said only one thing. Mr. Rahman Khan, Mr. Rahman Khan, you know, don't try and, Mr. One sec, 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 Rajiv, Rajiv Tiyagi, one sec, Rajiv Tiyagi, please, one minute. Rajiv Tiyagi, one minute. Rahman Khan is, you know, he should understand the people of this country will see through his terribly transparent game plan. You know, people are smarter than politicians sometimes think. Uh, now, Here is Rahman Khan. Last week, no, no, one second. Last week he says, last week Rahman Khan says, uh, well, you know, let's uh, have uh, different courts, fast track courts to look at uh, cases of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the task force to monitor and review terror cases against Muslims. Uh, now he says, well, I don't know if the Indian Mujahideen exists, Muslims don't think it exists. What Rahman Khan is trying to do, he's trying to communalize the atmosphere in the country ahead of the election. No, but no, Mr. Tyagi, I think Congress leaders like you should go to Rahman Khan and say, the Muslim you, community you will see it, through uh, what you are trying to do. Uh, Nobody in India will take you seriously. No, no, he is not. He is it's a, not, it's, it's he a, not it's communalizing a, it's that a, issue. It's a very, he is it's not a, communalizing that it, issue. It's a very... Indian Mujahideen exists there. It's a very... But there is a general perception it's a, it's among a very, the Muslims. Uh, well, 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 Mr. Don't Tyagi, I don't know. Mr. 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 Tyagi, Mr. Mr. Tyagi, I have only one thing to say for what Rahman Khan is doing and for other people. It's a very crude, dangerous and unthought attempt to somehow do competitive communal politics uh, with those on the right before the election.
I, I think that's that's something it's that everyone's going to see through, which I which 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 I'm coming to next. Part of BJP, which I'm coming to next. It's because on the part of BJP, Mr. It's Anandabha not a monologue between you and me. I'd like I'm to get Subramaniam Swami in at this stage. I'm a Hindu nationalist. What is what was that? Subramaniam what was that? Swami. What was that? When, Sub when Mr. Modi said that I'm a Hindu nationalist, what was that? Everybody, everybody, Who's everybody is a patriot. Patriot. Who is this? Whether he's that's Muslim, Rajiv Tiagi of the Sikh, Congress. Whether he's Hindu, every. He's not saying I'm nationalist Hindu. I think He's Mr. Tyagi's interventions, Mr. Yeah. Goswami, yeah. in fact, seal the expression that I, uh, you know, portrayed on your channel tonight, that there is a method to this madness, that when the government wants to shy away from a debate on issues of governance, it plays the communal card. First, it did it through yeah, spokespersons, we are, we are now it is doing it through the, the union uh, minister. Things, uh, we are not discussing uh, this uh, governance. Mr. Tyagi. Mr. Tyagi, one minute. I know you are excited yeah, about but, uh, meeting Arnab on Times now for the first time. <laughs> Allow me to finish what I have to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I completely understand your excitement about talking to Arnab, but allow me to finish. <laughs> to you also. The one question which goes unanswered on this channel tonight it's why a union minister with the knowledge, this is a union minister who also served as a deputy chairperson of the Rajya Sabha, Absolutely. who was witness to many a debates on the floor of the house about how the Indian Mujahideen is spreading its terror networks, killing innocent Indians. Mr. Tyagi, in your excitement, I implore you, just carry one message of mine to Mr. Rehman Khan, who is a senior politician, that in the Jaipur blast, 63 Indian dies, in Delhi, 12 dies. You are a Congress representative, aren't you? Or are you giving that up as Mr. Abid Rasul Khan tonight on the show? Tell Mr. Rahman Khan no, no, that the blood of that. innocence is on that. the hands I'm of Indian Mujahideen. I am a congressman by heart. No, whatever. Let her complete her comments. And you are telling me Rahman Khan is not a congressman at heart? I think, I think, I think what, I think, I think what, I think, 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 I Home Minister of it. You know, Mr. Shinde is causing great embarrassment. Because here it is that the Home Minister is being contradicted by the Minority Affairs Minister. And the Home Minister should tell the Minorities Affairs Minister, if you don't believe in your government, sit, out, sit on a dharna outside North Block. Declare that you are not part of this uh, government, that you have no allegiance to the Constitution and do what you do. And I will also tell Sonia Gandhi to sack you from the government. But the problem is that Sushil Kumar Shinde is saying nothing and the Congress party leadership is no, maintaining... No, the a Prime Minister does the sacking, not Sonia Gandhi. Yeah, so whatever, you know, yeah, Prime Minister has to do the sacking. Mr. Swami, and the Prime so Minister Sonia hardly Gandhi talks. has to approve. No, the question, no, no, the question is this. That uh, either no. Mr. Rahman Khan is in the government or not in the government. And if he's in the government, he's insulting the intelligence of the people of this country and those who have suffered at the hands of terror by he's trying to create this Indian confusion, Mr. Abid Rasul Khan. I'm sure you'll agree with me. I'm sure you'll agree with me as a citizen because you began by saying I'm not coming as a oh, congressman, no. but as a citizen. Yeah. Can I ask you, as a citizen of India, is the minorities no, no, affairs minister answer, answer, embarrassing you or not? Give me, if you give me a chance... No, no, Arnab. Arnab, if you give me a chance, I will respond, but I have not been given Floor a chance is yours. today. The point here is, uh, what Mr. Rahman Khan has said, the first thing is, it is better to be on your channel, you call him and ask him the straight questions to him to answer your queries. You have the capacity to call him and I know you will call him. Secondly, how the government <laughs> needs to react, we have to wait and see. We cannot decide it on this channel. We cannot take a decision on what the, the government, government has reacted to do and what by the not government reacting. has not to do. Thirdly, I would like Why to say, the the let, let me complete. Give me, you are not giving me a chance. Let no, me where complete. is the government third, response? Third, third, third thing, Sritiji, you have taken a lot of time. You have patience to hear others also. You, third thing I would like to say very clearly here that Mr. Subramaniam Swami, when he talks of one issue, he coolly forgets about the other issue of Mr. Mohan Parikar, Chief Minister of Goa, going and meeting convicted convicts of Sanatan Sansta who were convicted in Bombay and uh, Goa bomb blast in the train. Who is then convicted? Then Mr. 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 Abdul, Ab no, let, me, let me complete. Let, let, me, complete. let, let, let me, me complete. Let me, 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 let me,
no no then because what you are talk talking is untruth conviction of untruth NIA. should not go then on this channel who is convicted we don't believe in the investigation you, you tell what us who is convicted has the court of law convicted issue. anybody when you are talking about natural no no you can't you can't go on your assumption theory and your wishful theory has has anybody been convicted mr rasul khan i'm asking one point blank question well number 34 food for thought food for thought as i close the debate is this food for thought food food for thought i have one one point please allow me one last question to mr khan mr khan you're getting a rebut from smriti rani she says i want one last question to rahman khan go ahead i have one question yeah go ahead with rasul khan since you are on time now tonight as a citizen and not as a congress leader as a citizen i ask you from one citizen to another are you appalled and do you condemn sure the union minister's assertion yeah. that the indian mujahideen does not exist do you i have spriti ji you condemn as, it, as an indian citizen. do you let me, let me, do you, you or very, do you not you are a very senior leader i'm asking you a very simple completed. question you are a very senior leader and both of us have debated number don't of times me, i have greater respect for you don't give me gyan abid rasul khan sir just the answer today, i said i i said sir, i believe in the very specific i believe question. in the premier investigation agencies when i say that you should be you should I'm have i'm not asking you whether you believe in the nai or not i'm asking you specifically whether the union minister yes, statement is assertion that the indian mujahideen does I not exist do country. you condemn it not, not like your party who don't believe do in it do you anything. condemn it you don't even is my question to you and if you don't mr khan when, when when then i'm say, absolutely I right in telling arnab goswami there is a method time. to this well, i have only one food for thought i'm running short of time ladies and gentlemen i am running short of time ladies and gentlemen i have just one 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 point to say no no one one point to say i i i one thing to say that 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 number 29 on that list i find the dukhdara ne milat but importantly number 21 on that list of band organizations is the ltte and number 34 on that list is the cpi maoist and today if the government or the congress does not condemn what rehman khan has said then tomorrow other ministers and congress leaders will be encouraged to say well i think there there, there is no organization like the ltte and there is also no organization <laughs> like the cpi maoist and if that happens and the home minister of india is still quiet we'd like to ask the home minister a few questions i hope the home minister comes because i'm sending him an invite to come on the monday night edition of the news hour ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining me on that debate on the news hour tonight